Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a really simple art tutorial and that is how to create just a really simple picture using one point perspective. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did this drawing, but you can make your drawing however you like. Uh, you can add whatever you want, this is just an example, but what we're learning here is to create the idea of creating depth, of things going into the distance, like a road or a, a train track or a, a river or anything going into the distance uh, using a one point at the end and a horizon line, which is what we call one point perspective. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get ready to start. Okay, for this you're going to need uh, a pencil, a pencil sharpener, uh, a rubber, a ruler, um, a fine liner pen, and just an assortment of different pencils and colours that you have. Okay, so to create a one point perspective drawing, uh, first thing we're going to do is just to rule a line through the middle of our page. And this creates our horizon line through our page. Okay, now what we're going to do now is on this line we're going to put our point, this is our one point for our one point perspective. And then from that point, um, I'm just going to draw um, maybe just very lightly a line that goes down the middle and now I'm just going to measure this off with my ruler I might make it say maybe five centimeters that way five centimeters that way and I'm just going to draw a line now to join these points up okay now as you can see all I've done here is drawn um, a horizon line a horizontal line and I've just created two lines that come out of diagonal. And what this is going to do is try and create the illusion of something going into the distance. Really simple. And now to make that illusion more effective, all we need to do now is actually add some details in. So I'm going to make mine look like um, maybe it's a road going through the desert. So I'm just going to add in some, maybe some lines for the road. Now, keeping in mind, when things go into the distance, things get smaller and smaller as they go, and things will get closer together as well. So here's my lines. See how they're getting smaller and smaller and a little bit closer together as they go in. Okay. Um, I might want to add some, maybe some trees. I'm going to put some cactuses in just because cactuses are in the desert. I draw a cactus, I'm just going to draw uh, a tall line and then put some little curvy branches on the side like this. Um, now going uh, maybe one in the distance which of course will be much smaller. Um, maybe one that's even a bit bigger, a bit closer. Um, and maybe even one that's like really really big as though it's very close, it's so close it's actually going off into the it's in the foreground going off the page. Okay, um, maybe you might have some hills in the distance. Make them sort of pointy, spiky hills. Maybe over this side. Um, and maybe even a, going off into the sunset. Okay, always remembering that sun is behind the hills. Some people make the mistake of putting the sun before the hills, which of course is impossible. Okay, now that I've done uh, a simple picture. Um, I might even just add some shadows in just to make it give it a bit more, more depth. Something like that. Okay I'm just going to outline this now with my marker pen, my fine liner. Okay now I'm just going to rub out my lines. Okay, now I'm gonna color it in. Now when I color this in, just keeping in mind that things will go sort of lighter as they go back. Because I've got a shadow coming this way, um, things are gonna be darker on this side and lighter on this side.
I'm just using a tiny bit of orange here and I might use a little bit of brown as well just to give a little bit of a bit more color and depth. Hmm, and maybe a red sunset to top it off. Or orange maybe. There we go. There's my really simple desert picture uh, demonstrating one point perspective. One point perspective is um, using our lines that go to one point in the distance on our horizon line to give the effect of something going into the distance. Okay, now try it for yourself. And just before we go, here's another one just for fun.